Hi there, I wanted to quickly show you guys this mirror that I built. The reason why I built my own version of this is because not only do I want to design it and write my own software for it, but I also wanted to build a mirror that you can interact with. And so, here it is. Now, the first thing that you're going to be seeing is the home screen. The home screen can either always be on, or you can set it up in a way that it'll automatically put itself into rest mode. The home screen also contains widgets around the corners. The top left displays information about the weather, the amount of time it takes for you to get to work from your current position, uh, the top right is your current date and time, and the bottom left is your music player. Now, I mentioned that I wanted to build a mirror that you can interact with, and so to begin this demonstration, let's play some music. Uh, and to do so, all you need to do is simply tap on the play button. Real simple. Now, if I wanted to control the volume, all, all that I would have to do is hold up two fingers up against the mirror and slide my fingers up or down. Again, that's two fingers and slide up or down in order to control the volume. So, aside from the aforementioned widgets uh, on the home screen, there's also a button here. If I were to tap on this button, it'll bring up uh, the app launcher. These are the uh, currently supported apps that I've built out so far. Uh, up in the top of the app launcher is a search bar. If I were to tap on the search bar, it'll bring up a fully functional keyboard. To demonstrate the keyboard, I'm going to go ahead and type in PH, and it'll filter the app list down to photos. If I were to backspace, it'll continue on with that um, filtering. Now to demonstrate one of the apps, I'm going to go ahead and launch Reddit. Now this is currently listing our videos, which happens to be my favorite subreddit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select one of these videos to demonstrate video playback. So here's an X-Men trailer. Things are better. The world is better. Now, just like the music player, if I wanted to control the volume, again, all that, all that I would have to do is hold up two fingers up against the mirror. If I don't want this video to block my view, let's say I was getting ready in front of the mirror, I can always put this off to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Now another thing that I can do is I can control the temperature of my apartment on this mirror. To do so, all that I would have to do is hold up two fingers and rotate. So this allows me to control my, the temperature in my apartment through Ness. Now I would like to demonstrate what would happen if you were running late and you were getting ready in front of this mirror. So what would happen is that an alert will show up to help telling you that you're, um, that you're becoming late. And so one of the primary actions that I can take is I can order an Uber from here. Now this is actually making a uh, request to Uber's public API. And so we're going to wait here. So my request has been accepted by John. John's going to be picking me up in the next five minutes. And so because of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I don't want John to pick me up. And so that is my mirror. Thank you for watching.